two years after its first gay pride edition. So, the mainstream narrative is that the rise of the presence of LGBT individuals is because of the heroic efforts of the activists. This is not true. This is not true because this phenomenon is just as true for humans as it is in the animal kingdom. Across the planet, all animals, especially the marine animals who are most exposed to endocrine disrupting chemicals, are exhibiting anomalies, anomalies in both their physiology, so their body, their reproductive parts, but also their behaviors. This is very much in line with the most recent science to do with endocrine disrupting chemicals. For many species, this is an existential threat, and so it is with humans. Sperm quality and quantity have dropped by 50% in just 50 years. In another 50 years, it's going to drop by another 50%. Most men will not get to be fathers. Only a selective group of men who have the resources and the knowledge will have the ability to father kids. And it's even worse, it's even worse for women. The rate of miscarriage, that is the child dying in the womb, has almost doubled in that same time frame. Imagine how terrible a miscarriage truly is. The woman, the mother, literally has to carry the dead corpse of her unborn child to birth. Imagine the level of trauma that inflicts on a woman. And this is only getting worse year by year as we're exposed to more and more toxins in our environment. We are all suffering. Men are being faced with depression at an unprecedented rate. They are engaging in self-harm and even self-deletion at a rate never before seen on the face of the earth in the history of mankind. And all we do is we harp about Mental Health Awareness Week without connecting this issue back to testosterone. The science on this is very clear and has been for decades. And here we are walking around with the green ribbon because we're aware of mental health. This is not the way. We are in this together. Men, women, liberals and conservatives, straight and even the LGBT community. Because they are not to blame for any of this. They were as infants, as infants in the womb, they were exposed to these endocrine disrupting chemicals. How can we possibly have any hate or any animosity towards these individuals? It doesn't make sense. They are not the enemy. They never were the enemy and they don't deserve any blame for this. The liberals and the conservatives are tearing the nation apart while the real villains laugh in the distance. Everybody is struggling. Men with depression, women with anxiety, the LGBT individuals with their own identity issues. We were poisoned at birth and after birth. Why are young boys prescribed with mind-numbing drugs just because they act in the exact way that nature prescribed them to act in. Why are young girls being prescribed with birth control drugs just to cure their acne? Do you know what is meant by bread and circuses? The Roman emperors would spend their entire treasury on free handouts. They would spend it on meaningless entertainment. Because if the populace, if the citizenry knew of the crimes they had committed, it would be their head on a spike. The multinational companies and the government are not here for us. And the scientists will not be able to solve the problem because it will be too late by the time they devise some magical solution. It's up to us to take things into our own hands. We must learn to make better buying decisions. We must understand what is toxic and what is not. We must spur the growth of a whole new economy. We must start with ourselves, our friends and our families fixing ourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually, and hormonally. This is not some concealed attack on the LGBTQ. I'm somewhat of a libertarian in the sense that if you leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. But I understand that some people genuinely dislike or even hate the LGBT. But what happens if you are one of those individuals and your child is born intersex? What are you gonna do? Hate him? Hate her? Good luck with that. And what if you're a hardcore feminist woman and you have a miscarriage because of exposure to the EDCs. What are you gonna do? Blame the patriarchy? I'd like to see you try. You see, we are truly in this together, whether we like it or not. We are on the same ship and it is sinking fast. They don't care if you're black or white, Latino or Hispanic or gay or straight. Nothing matters so long as you're a good cog in the machine. But imagine this, 
Imagine a society where we are all immune to psychological operations. We're all maxed out on our health, both mental, physical, and spiritual, and hormonal. Imagine we're raising kids to be even more strong and resilient than we ever were. Imagine we could put down our differences just for a moment and gaze upon the powers that be. They will tremble in fear for we are their worst nightmare.